I'm Charles Bankhead of MedPage Today, reporting from the American Society of Hematology meeting in New Orleans. An investigational enzyme inhibitor has demonstrated activity and tolerability in patients with myelofibrosis, a condition that has no approved therapies. The drug, currently known as INCB018424, or simply 424, inhibits two isoforms of Janus-activated kinase, or JAK. Until five years ago, the role of JAK mutations had not been discovered. Dr. Sardar Vestavsek of the University of Texas MD Anderson Cancer Center in Houston discusses the scientific rationale for developing the drug. In a normal person, that particular JAK2 enzyme is activated when we, when we need to make blood cells. In malignant cells, it is active all the time and you do not need any signal to the cells to start growing. They grow without control and that makes sense. It is myeloproliferative disease. Now, because it's enzyme, we are able to develop a small molecules inhibitors that would inhibit that enzyme. And uh, INCB081424 is the first in class JAK2 small molecule inhibitor of the JAK2 enzyme. Vestavsek described the beneficial effects of the therapy as amazing. This is the largest study ever done in myeloid fibrosis with more than 150 patients accrued. In, in two centers at the uh, MD Anderson Cancer Center in Mayo Clinic in Rochester. The results are quite amazing in terms of benefit to the patients. More than 75% of the patients are still on the study after an average of 16 months, meaning that the patients benefit and the drug is safe. Benefit is seen primarily in a significant and rapid reduction in splenomegaly in these patients. At the same time, the patients experience a significant reduction in the symptoms. They eliminate uh, the general symptoms of pruritus, sweating, night sweating, uh, weight loss. They gain weight. They can actually walk more. They start to enjoy full life uh, and, uh, again and have a normal quality of life again in great majority of the patients. These uh, benefits are durable. The drug is not worry-free, but the principal adverse effect can be avoided in most patients. Because this medication does also inhibit the normal JAK2, which is normal, uh, normally activated when we need blood cells, uh, we do see in certain patients a uh, lowering of the blood cell count in terms of uh, low platelets. This can be avoided uh, very nicely by selectively uh, targeting the dose in each patient, which would avoid myelosuppression and still provide the full benefit to the drug. So the number of patients uh, in dose adjustments uh, uh, schema of delivering the medication is less than 5%. And again, the result is seen uh, in a great extent uh, in uh, uh, more than 75% of the patients. From the American Society of Hematology meeting in New Orleans, I'm Charles Bankhead, MedPage Today.